Feed you. Be cool. Feed you. Drink by the bone. Hi everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Nomad Soul. So I don't normally have much preamble before we start an LP, but today I'm going to. I have tried to play The Nomad Soul a couple of times before. In fact, I even started recording an LP. I've got about three or four episodes in. And it's, I'll be honest with you, it's not the greatest game in the world. But I really want to see it. It's by David Cage, who did Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls from my previous LPs. And to try and make it a bit smoother, I don't normally do this either. But I've actually got the walkthrough, so I bought the Prima Strategy Guide. I actually imported it from America because it worked out cheaper, so that's a bit ridiculous. But hopefully, oh, what's this? Oh, it's just gone on the loop. Ah. So hopefully this time it won't be so frustrating but I'll explain those bits as we get to it, there's no need to explain it now. I'm currently running, it's the GOG version, and this is recording at 1024 by 768 which isn't great for YouTube because it doesn't offer that resolution. So in the next video I'll probably try the widescreen patch, but let's not try and run before we can walk, because it doesn't work perfectly on a modern computer. It won't take any of my joypads, so I'm going to have to do it keyboard and mouse, but I'm sure that'll be okay. Uh, let's get going. I have many things to tell you, and very little time. My, my name is Kale. I come from a universe parallel to yours. My world needs your help. You're the only one who can save us. I succeeded in opening a breach between my world and yours. Through your computer, you can enter our world and help us. But in order to do this, you must transfer your soul into my body. Do you accept? Press any key to say yes. But hurry, there isn't much time. Push the talk button. Ah, excellent. So the game doesn't seem to do much with the comma button. Let's go for Y then. Okay, not Y either. Let's go for Enter. I knew I could count on you. Now, you must concentrate. <laughs> You've done it. Now your soul occupies my body. This is the last time that we'll be able to speak together. Once you cross the breach, you'll be on your own. I will take over my body when you leave the game and hold your place for you until you return. Okay, I understand. That's it. You're ready. But remember, once you cross the breach, you're on your own. 
There's no saving and going back if you get into trouble. You are entering a real world. If you make mistakes, you'll just have to accept the consequences. Now, listen carefully. To begin your investigation, go first to my apartment. There's no more time to talk. You must cross the breach before it closes. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful with my body. It's the only one I've got. What the hell was that? The robot must have scared it off. Yeah, so we got attacked by a soul reaver, who looks like he took several blobs of our soul. Even though it's more like opening a chest in Blood Omen 2, that's not the point. It was clearly some sort of devil, demon. Ugh, where am I? This passage looks like the only way out. By pressing action, I will pick up an object. Once it's in my hand, I can press action again to keep it, or something to put it back. I've got a computer terminal grafted onto my forearm. I access my inventory by pressing the sneak button. So the sneak button is not stealth. The sneak button is what you call your inventory. And why have I got a watermark in the corner? I don't know if I should have that. I don't remember having a watermark in the corner. That is most frustrating, I'll look into it. Right, what have we got here then? Kale's apartment key. Oh, switch places now, that's weird. Congratulations, you've acquired the latest Konsu Design Sneak, the fabulous Mark 400. Thanks to the latest molecular disassembly technology, the Mark 400 enables you to transport up to 18 different objects. For more than 18 objects, you can use your virtual locker on the multiplan to swap objects between your locker and your sneak. Thanks to its exclusive mesmerizing system, your sneak will memorize any information that you will receive. Attention, for reasons of security, objects using waiver technology, weapons and ammunitions for example, cannot be transferred from one sneak to another. Konsu, tomorrow's technology today. I will learn to speak. So we're Kale669, we're 13 male, well that's alright, I can remember that. We're an investigating agent who's received basic Omicron police training using waiver weapons and combat techniques. And he has no interests, what a loser. So, this must be our quest system. To begin your investigation, go to my apartment. We'll leave all that alone for the time being. Oh, I missed something then. Three magic rings. Now I happen to know what rings are for, they're for saving the game and getting hints. Oh, no, no mad soul keeps appearing and disappearing, it must be a game thing. So 
So I've just run it exactly as Gog delivers it, but I do. Oh, I did turn up the draw distance actually. I put everything on maximum. And I've also got a different wrapper, so this one should let me run it in a window, which it appears to be doing fine. I don't really know what it looks like. I do have the Dreamcast game, but I didn't get very far, and that was a long time ago. So you'll have to tell me if there's something up with the graphics, but I don't think there is. It's running at 60 frames, but I'm recording at 30, because the animations all supposedly run at 30. The city seems to be immense. How am I supposed to find Kale's apartment? A vehicle might be useful. The sneak terminal on my forearm has a cool slider button. Maybe I should try that. So, the music was a lot of it done by David Bowie, or Bowie if you prefer. I hope that doesn't mean YouTube's copyright scheme will go mad. Mind you, now he's passed away. He's you know, that's how you make it as an artist. Maybe they'll be a lot more vigilant. Maybe I should have done this LP a, a couple of years ago. I'd have been a bit softer on it. But that's all the conspiracy theory. Let's do as we're told. Call slider. Call slider. Call slider. Okay. I don't know how we do. Ah. We want to go to Kel's apartment. Okay. I'm assuming this is mine, yeah? The Blade Runnery. Kale must have left me some way to get into his apartment. In my sneak, I can select an object and choose the use function. Hmm, nice place Kale has here. 
Who didn't like Earth in 1998? Ring note. The rings of the art appear on the pilgrim's path. Only pure spirits can see them. They have two powers. The first is to freeze time. The second is to guide the seeker for light. He who wishes to survive must use them judiciously, for their number is limited. The font in this game is fairly hard to read, to be honest. But, so I can actually read okay in general. But when you're LPing, if any of you guys have ever done an LP, your brain's on multiple different things, so my reading isn't always the best. The font is not going to help out. There's a pile of white triangular objects in the door in the drawer. Written on them is Central Bank of Omicron, a hundred setics. Must be money. It's not even burgling, it's my own house. I'm allowed to take it. What kind of computer game is this? Kale. I thought I just saw someone in front of me. She looks so real. I feel as if I should know her. By pressing the head button, I can look all around. I think we'll wait till we control that woman to press the head button. Lol. Do you get it? Do you get it? Looks like there's a feeding hatch here. Genuinely, though, I would press the head button, I just don't know what it is. Oh, we found a jump button. This tank looks like it houses some kind of pet. There's something shiny hanging inside, but it's out of reach. Okay, so both shifts run forward. Okay, so head must be L for look, and it's not a toggle, you have to hold it down. Okay. Transfer to multiplan, transfer to sneak. Examine this object, multiplan notice. Welcome to your multiplan virtual locker. This terminal allows you to store all the objects you don't want to keep in your sneak. At any time, and with any multiplan terminal, you can transfer objects to and from your sneak. Consume molecular disassembly for all. Well, we don't need rings or notices anymore, do we? No, we do need rings. Yeah, get the rings back. Sleeping pill prescription. Prescription for insomnia and troubled sleep. Recommendations. Gives restful night's sleep just a few seconds after ingestion. Solution to be diluted in liquid. To obtain this medication, just pres present this prescription at any conso... Pharmacy. Consu. Medication for life. Well, they seem to have a monopoly over everything in the world. Kale's police badge. Medikit large. Do 
Don't know what that means. Always a classic. Right, there's no hand basin, so we're not washing our hands. Can I sleep before getting my sleeping pills? What? I don't know what to do with this, this crazy object. There should be some way to go up and down, but I don't know what that way is. Still, we, we pwned that thing. Uh, I'll cover combat and stuff later. I do have things to say, but nothing nice, so I won't say it at all. Oh, is this everything? No, it can't be. Hey, what the? Three rings. Three interlaced rings floating in the air. I get the impression that I'm the only one who can see them. They might be useful to me. Because we're pure of soul, or whatever it says. Save, advice, or cancel. Yeah, let's stick a save in. Omicron News, the 11th of Nadim, something, something, something. It's a bit fast for me, this. 7,216. Oh, okay. Omicron News, reduced sleeping time. Today, Ix announced that he may very soon order a reduction of 10 minutes in legal sleeping time. According to his calculations, this would boost productivity in certain sectors by 1.2%, and increase the AHR average happiness rate by 0.8%. Rising happiness rate. Ix announced in his weekly bulletin that according to his calculations, the average happiness of each inhabitant is higher than that for the same period last cycle. This increase is due to the quality scheduling and greater thought control. Warriors lose to Mechas 38-71. to The Warriors suffered a severe defeat yesterday in Reshev Stadium in the final of the Superglass. Trainer Toz Yal's team was completely incapable of responding to the power of the Mechas. The trainer was imprisoned after the match pending a decision by the managers on the level of his responsibility in this defeat. So, that's pretty much how they treat football managers. Even though you'd only expect to win somewhere between a half and a third of the time. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? I haven't heard from you in days. Hmm, I don't think that's a good way to seduce your own wife, assuming that is my wife. I mean, that might turn her on if she's into role play. She might think I'm bonkers. And no, that's... That's kind of a bit stuffy with your wife, isn't it? Uh, assuming that's my wife. I'm not Kale. I'm occupying his body, but I come from another dimension. Kale, are you sure you feel alright? Do you want me to call a Meditech? No, I'm okay. I, 
I think I've lost my memory. You must help me to find out what happened to me in the last few days. When did you realise I disappeared? Four days ago, you didn't come home from work. I called your office in security headquarters. They said that you and your partner, Den, had gone out on an investigation and that they hadn't heard from you. That was all they could tell me. What happened next? They couldn't find you anywhere. You disappeared without a trace. I, I was sick with worry. I ended up thinking that, that you'd been arrested by the militia and that they killed you. I was working on an investigation, so I'm a police officer. And I guess that would explain why I'm dressed like a policeman and have a police badge. You're an investigating agent in the Omicron police. You were working on some cases with your partner, Den. Oh, perhaps Den knows something about my disappearance. When I realized you'd disappeared, I tried to find Den to ask him if he knew anything. But he'd disappeared too. Tell me about Den. I hardly know anything about Den. All I know is that he's your partner and your, and your best friend. Just before you disappeared, you were spending a lot of time together in the evenings. Do you know what I was investigating before I disappeared? I don't know anything about your investigations. You never told me about your work. Why don't you go to your office and security headquarters? They're probably still looking for you. Yeah, you're right. I'll go to my office at Security HQ. Oh, Kale. I'm so glad to have you back. Right, let's go press her for more, more information. Okay, that's a funny bed. You better not say, I have no idea what to do with this. Come on, Cal, you know what to do with this. I can't just jump on top of Telus like that. I'm not an animal. I could lie down on my own side of the bed like a good boy. A nightmare. It was just a nightmare. I shouldn't be wasting my time here. I've got to get to Security HQ and find out what happened to Kale. I guess that's a manifestation of his fear of women. Um, like the woman in the radiator and a razor head. That kind of thing. And on that terrible disappointment, come back for the next episode of The Nomad Soul.